Noah's thirst for learning um, and his passion for everything that he does. He's an all-in kind of guy. From that first summer internship, I was working in the emergency department at Straub. Being able to see how patients react to the care that they're given, that really helped shape why and how I wanted to go into medicine. I was in my last year at Tufts. I was a senior and I was working really hard going through the medical school application process. And one day I just realized that a cut on my leg looked infected. They found it was E. coli and they were, they were treating it. And then when he came back in, De in December for break and we had a family trip. We go off to Maui to celebrate with all of my ohana. We're out there swimming, he's fishing, diving, swimming, skimboarding, playing with his cousins. I went to bed that night, couldn't have been happier. And when I woke up in the morning, I felt like really sick. Um, things just, I felt nauseous and my cut seemed to be inflamed again. Six o'clock that morning, he wakes me, says, Mom, this, this infection is back. And I was on a plane in less than an hour. And I said, take me to Straub. So we brought Noel into the hospital, started him on IV antibiotics right away for his very resistant bacteria. It was a very complex condition, not knowing exactly where the infection was coming from and how to best treat it. I'd spent hundreds and hundreds of hours in this, this exact emergency department, but on the other side. I remember being in an immense amount of pain. It was the worst pain I felt in my life. May it never happen to you, um, but anyone who's had a child in incredible pain that you can't take away, it's the worst, most helpless feeling to have. I would gladly have switched places with him. And I couldn't. And I wanted to. Very much so. It was found that he had a fairly uncommon and resistant bacteria that was resistant to many antibiotics and virtually all oral antibiotics. After consultation with multiple doctors, including myself, it was decided uh, to proceed with surgery during the second hospital day. So the surgery was to remove this uh, infectious, chronically infectious tract from his body. They handed me, you know, the routine, you know, advanced directives and do not resuscitate. And I'd known about this conceptually as a student, and I just never thought that I, at 21, would be having to think about these things and consider those real possibilities for my situation. We did the surgery. Uh, it went very well and on follow-up visits, it seemed like it was closing and healing quite well. Well, Noah remained in the hospital for two and a half weeks after his surgery, and it took time for his pain to gradually resolve and for him to feel comfortable doing the wound care at home. I found myself having to rely on support for everything, eating, standing, walking, bathing. And so the transition really came with understanding what a family, what really a family can do in those times. When Noah got sick, um, there was a great deal of discussion on would he be able to finish school on time. I wanted to become a physician. Um, I wanted to be a physician here at home. And so I knew I had to go back to school. I need, I need to finish my degree at Tufts. I was so close. The question at the end of the day was, so how bad do you want it, Noah? And how far are you willing to go for it? So it began the transition of going back to school late and taking my IV up there with me and walking around school with an IV in and trying to do all my courses, lab work, research. And I kept asking myself, you know, when is something good going to happen? And I remember just working one day uh, and receiving my letter of acceptance to uh, the University of Hawaii Medical School. And I called my mom and my dad and my sister. And I said, I'm coming up. I told him I was coming home and I was going to be a doctor in what That feeling of getting accepted to medical school and then continuing to push through and walking across that stage to get my diploma, I thought that day I wasn't going to come this year. What a blessing to have healthcare facilities like Straub Hospital uh, and Kapi'olani Hospital for Women and Children because Ke'olama was born at 27 weeks she was one pound, 10 ounces. And then to find ourselves, you know, 22 years later, but with a really, really sick son and finding ourselves at the doorsteps of a place like Straub Hospital. I, I can't thank Straub enough 
for giving us our son. When I put my own coat on, I, I always think about putting the hospital gown on first and what that felt like to be on the other end. And it's shaped the entire way I approach learning medicine, how I choose to practice medicine as a medical student, and what a blessing it is to be able to have learned from the people who are taking care of you and having the opportunity to come back and now care for those same people. Uh, it, it doesn't happen often. And I'm just grateful that I have that opportunity and I hope to make the most out of it.